Hey guys, Mike Sorg here uh, with, uh, well, uh, podcamppittsburgh.com. This is a, we're bringing back the podcamp spotlight we used to do a few years ago. Uh, we're actually in the studio here, Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA, where I tend to do some, a couple of shows, a couple of things we do down here. Um, but we thought we'd have the opportunity uh, to uh, talk with some people influenced by podcamp, influenced by social media, and kind of get the story. Uh, and we have Amanda here in the, in the studio. For our first one, so <laughs> so tell, introduce yourself and tell tell people what you're here for. Uh, my name is Amanda Narcissi, and a few years ago when I attended PodCamp, I got inspired to start an internet magazine, and Bold Pittsburgh was born about a year later, and we're six issues in, and 400 followers so far, or 400 likes on Facebook, and a few hundred followers on Twitter. And we're growing rapidly. Awesome, awesome. So, what what does uh, Bold Pittsburgh? What, what what do you guys have in there? It's basically a lifestyles magazine. We like to go to restaurants, uh, nightclubs, bars, review them, and basically tell other people to go there. Um, one of our more popular posts lately have been that we send a writer to review local breweries, and we've been invited by multiple breweries all over the Pittsburgh area to discuss what they have on tap, how they got started, everything like that. Um, we also have a great music section from po Pittsburgh bands and also bands all over the country. Um, we tend to go to a lot of nightclubs and things that may have been forgotten, may have had a revamp, things like that, and a lot of newer restaurants and review them. And fun date nights, like things that people don't normally think to do on a Friday night, that they're sitting there not knowing what to do. Um, we like to throw out some ideas and get them to go out of their houses and enjoy Pittsburgh the way it deserves to be treated. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Now, we, we, we started talking about this because uh, you're, you're hoping this year with the uh, podcast Pittsburgh 9 coming up here in November. Um, so tell us, like, where did the magazine come from? Um, two years ago, I was sitting in PodCamp um, in a session called Visualize Your Day. It was visualizing your business plan. Okay. And basically, at the time, I wanted to start a dating blog. And Pittsburgh didn't have a dating blog, dating etiquette, where to go, how to have fun, outfits to wear, so on and so forth, something that was really lighthearted. And Pittsburgh really didn't have a dating blog, basically like how to be single in this city or how to even date and have fun in the city. Um, as I was done with my visualization... I reviewed it with the three other people I had in my group. And one of them turned to me and says, so what's stopping you? And I said, I really don't know what's stopping me. <laughs> um, fast forward to a couple months later, I was basically not happy in my day job, so on and so forth. And I just decided, well, I could apply to every single magazine in the Pittsburgh area or I could start my own. <laughs> Create your own job, right? <laughs> Create my own job. Be my own boss. I don't want to work for anybody anymore. So what happened was I pitched it to a couple of my friends, and they loved it. They joined on board. Mm -hmm. We got about five writers, six of us all together, mm -hmm. and it was born. So, uh, you know, obviously, it sounds like this one session uh, really kind of gave you the tools to kind of jumpstart that, you know, like, were you uh, big into social media beforehand? Or were you just looking is PodCamp a, a at what point of learning were you kind of going into PodCamp at that point? I was huge into social media, but it was more like, hi, I'm eating a sandwich. It wasn't <laughs> like, I didn't oh, know you were an early tweeter. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Um, it wasn't. And the funny thing is, is very re I've been on Twitter for like ever for years and years and years now however my tweets just reached 3000 with the magazine so mm -hmm. you could tell like I never was on Twitter that much I never knew how to use it I had all the tools I just didn't know what I wanted to use it for basically um being a graphic designer and artist I can always pitch like hey I can design your logo and so on and so forth but I'm out there with 50 million other people doing that so I wanted it, I took the tools that I learned from all, from PodCamp and basically honed it in on one business instead of, 
I'm eating a meal out tonight. It was, hey, I ate a meal with Bold Pittsburgh staff. Now you can read about it. Go check them out. So it was more of that kind of that recommendation side of things. And you kind of spun that into the magazine, right? Correct. Yeah. Awesome. It was fun. It was it was I learned a lot. And basically every year that I go back, I learn more and more tolls and things I want to do with the magazine based on that. Awesome. Awesome. So so how are you using social media currently uh, with the magazine to get it out there? Um, and and how's, how's that? How's that working for you? Well, we have a huge following on Facebook. That was our biggest start was we basically told all of our friends to like the page. <laughs> we basically invited all of our friends to, in, to use to like the page. And then we told them to share it with their friends. And mm-hmm. hence the marketing triangle worked really mm-hmm. well for mm-hmm. us in the beginning. Um, that was about the third issue that started. Um, and Twitter, we had a very aggressive Twitter approach about last issue, about a month ago, we decided that we were going to tweet every half an hour from Hootsuite. So we set up Hootsuite, which we had learned about in PodCamp, and we basically tweeted every half an hour. Like 24-7 or business hours? or what, bit From, I think the earliest was 6 a.m. until about 1 a.m. Okay. So even after hours, diners were getting our tweets, oh. like... Hey, it's after hours and we're at Tom's Diner in Dormont and that was going out over Hootsuite. Huh. And it was literally very, very aggressive. What we had found was when we did the mentions, we got huge retweets. We got mm-hmm. favorited crazy. My phone blew up. Like the notifications on my phone was out of control <laughs> for about that first week. <laughs> So basically, we we were very aggressive with the Hootsuite last month. This month, we backed it off a little bit. But we learned that um, Facebook and Twitter were our biggest, biggest followers. Mm-hmm. We branched a little bit into Pinterest. And we have a good following on Pinterest, too. But oh, there's... it seems like it would, that this, that's the right place with... Like, there's a lot of food on Pinterest. There's a lot of food and a lot of imagery. Because if you notice that with our magazine, we have a lot of photographs and mm-hmm. a lot of um, pictures of where we are and what we do. And we have a lot of guest artists do our covers and so on and so forth that we wanted to show them on Pinterest and get them basically on other people's boards. So we, we started to use Pinterest more and more. Um, but again, our Facebook is our hugest that we tend to we tend to have our biggest following there. Nice. Nice. So, um, so, so for somebody who maybe the uninitiated, un- uninitiated, uh, that, that hasn't been to a, a pod camp before, uh, what, what would you say to them uh, of any skill level? I say come because let me just, even if you say it's something like I listen to podcasts every single day while I'm at work, or I use my Twitter for, showing pictures of my food just show up and maybe you'll get a great idea of something you want to start and you'll be inspired you'll be inspired to make something and that's really what it's all about is making something Um, making something that's your own Um, and that would really the inspiration's there you connect with other people Mm -hmm. and they bounce off your ideas and they feed you more ideas and it just becomes this big gigantic collaboration so I suggest even if you have just this ounce of wanting to make something, just show up and get ideas and experience it. Excellent. Excellent. Tell people where they can find uh, you in Bold Pittsburgh. Um, I am at AL Narcissi on the Twitter sphere. Uh, Bold Pittsburgh is at Bold PGH. Facebook, you can just look up Bold Pittsburgh. Um, and our blog is uh, boldpittsburgh.com. Awesome. Awesome. And you can find out more about PodCamp, what's going on leading up here uh, to PodCamp Pittsburgh 9 over at PodCampPittsburgh.com. There's links, there's videos for past sessions if you want to see what kind of stuff uh, has happened. Um, we're going to take a peek. We'll see if we can find that session that uh, inspired you from a few years ago. Maybe we'll inspire somebody <laughs> new as well. Um, so go Pittsburgh, PodCampPittsburgh.com. You can register right now for free. We do also have a VIP package you can sign up for as well. Registration or submissions for um for sessions are going to be opening up very soon, uh, November 22nd through 23rd, 2014. Uh, so go uh, check it out. And uh, we hope to see you there. So we'll see you next time.